the P versus NP problem is actually a categorical problem, not a math problem necessarily, because P versus NP itself, that calculation is not necessarily what any of the P versus NP problems that fall under that heading are, because if they are solvable, then they're not examples of P versus NP itself, because P versus NP is non-solvable, and I'll prove how that is now. P versus NP itself is a problem that can generate infinite numbers of new problems uh, at like any level of our understanding because it just takes the solutions that we have to whatever level of solution we have and it makes those into dynamic systems uh, that together we don't have a solution for. So whatever level we get to, we can never get to a level that's beyond P versus NP. That doesn't mean we're not going to solve any of the particular problems, but it means that we won't if they're actually examples of P versus NP itself. Whether they are, I don't know.